Greetings, you two. This is BJ Black, and welcome to part 19 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Now, Theo wants to talk to us, but we just finished gathering the materials for this, so let's make it. Yes, yes, Sugida. I went through that map seven times to get those crystals. Alright, this is the blue copper key. And unusually, Eol is the first one to come in and ask us what it is. So with this blue key, we can open blue doors in the dungeon. But you have to have the unlock skill in order to use it. So Eol wants to know if she can do it. She is a infiltration expert and stealth infiltration and stealth expert. So and she's pretty. Uh, handy, so she should be able to do it. But how did she handle these things before? She never really had a problem with it before. Of our one zeros to himself, how he rescued Mikayu. How she rescued Mikayu. Because Mikayu was probably, you know, restrained somehow. Well, this is the heel we're talking about. You seen the sword she carries? If she wanted to get inside a door, she could probably pick the door up. Anyway. After that, Avaro taught Eo about stuff. And now she has a new skill available. It's a pretty good one. Now ah, this one here. Let's just call it Ninja Heart for the moment. Okay, down at the bottom it says you can search with her, you can unlock with her, and you can detect danger with her. I haven't used the detect danger skill, but we, but Avaro has the other two, letting him find hidden rooms and unlock chests and doors. She won't be able to mine like Avaro though. But that uh, danger sense thing we'll probably see eventually. Alright, fine. You want to know the truth? I don't like this scene. So we're cleaning up around the castle again, and Fia is mumbling to herself. Something's bugging her, and it's on the tip of her tongue, but she just can't spit it out. And now she's throwing a fit because it's bugging her so much. It's cute how you'll just call Fia goddess. The goddess. Your goddessness. Well, whatever. So, Fia's all getting excited by herself. Mikael's getting used to it. Just leave her alone. So, do we do this next? Yeah, etc. Since we're working with the heavy work, be sure to drink enough water and stuff. Yeah, it's nice of Avaro to be taking care of these two. Oh crap, she figured out what she was thinking about. What the hell, yelling out all of a sudden. Come on, be a fact to work. You shouldn't be slacking off. Nobody cares what you think. So what's bothering her is what everybody calls Avaro. What the hell, all of a sudden? So, since we started this journey, we've got these employees. No, this little family. 
Hey, she's calling us family. Isn't that nice? Really? Just play along. <laughs> They're teasing Fia and she's just falling into it. Yeah, the two are just playing with her. They really like her. Yeah, they love her. She loves them. Well, I'm glad we took the topic off of what she was actually trying to talk about. Ah, nope, she's getting the back on topic. So, everybody calls Avaro different things. So, Fia calls Avaro, Avaro, or hubby, or darling. No, you don't. You only call me the first one. So Mikea calls Avaro Avaro san. Half blood elf. Ah, eel's funny. But in the end, eel calls Avaro Avaro. There you go. Now we've cataloged them. What's wrong? She wants there to be a special feeling about it. So they're going to think of a new title for, or a new way to, a new thing to call Avaro. That's right, a new way of addressing him. You've thought of something weird again. So, let's hear your idea. First idea from Fia, Jiguro. Oops. This is a reference to his skin color, which isn't, which is pretty dark. Hey, she just called him a nigger. Ha. Uh, well, not really. So, no. So far, so that's just my skin color. Mikeu Jigoro. That's an English word. It means male prostitute. Nope, that's not suitable either. Yo says boss. It's got a kind of a parental feel to it as well. So it's not exactly bad, but it's a bit early for you to be calling him something like that. Fia says Taicho, which is literally to be commanding officer. I'm going to call it captain because this is, well, I need to do something. Captain. All right, fine. Let's hear your reasoning. Are you all ready? We're going to get some serious fear logic going on here. So it's a mobile shop. So they are some kind of merchant corps. So a corps needs a commander. Right. You know, I looked up Shotai. It's not actually a Japanese word. It's a Chinese word. But anyway, I'm translating this all, all over to the Avaro is now being called Captain. Mm. Normally I'd just be called a shopkeeper, but anyway, isn't the sh shop's owner Fia? Okay, the castle is Fia's body, and Avaro is Fia's servant. 
apostle, right? But the company is actually of ours. All right. If he wants to do it, Avaro's down with it too. Mikeo's okay with it. The sound of it's kind of cute to her. Yeah, and Io says if Mikeo's good with it, Io's good with it too. If he chides Io for going along with everything Mikeo decides. But she says it's cute anyway, so good. Alright. <laughs> and so, Captain Avaro, congratulations on your assumption of office. Yay, clap, clap. Why are this. Why do people say clap in Japanese? That's the best contribution to this entire conversation. Yeah. This kind of makes him itch. Well. It's just a new title. It's not like anything he's got to do is going to change. So. Things continue as before. But it's not just the castle he has, but this little family of his. So he's taking a little responsibility. This new ability he gets. Man, he doesn't get a lot of abilities, does he? On the other hand, he doesn't get a lot of control points to equip abilities with. This one, if you've got it equipped, Avar can defend your allies if he's in the next square while they're being attacked. Or attacking, for that matter. I'm sure we'll see it pop up occasionally. Alright, that's enough for s slacking off. No. No, he said, Okay, it seems like we've come to a stop now. Since this is a good point, let's just take a break then. And Mikio asks for some instruction during the break. She's referring to him as captain already. Yep, she's gotten used to it already. Io asks if the work is over, addressing him as captain. Oh, this can't be good. So, she asks Eel to say that again. Captain? That mispronunciation is so cute, she says. Fia, you are so self-centered. Can't you see that your touch physically harms Eel? Goddess, your skin is squishy. And apparently, Eo passes out. But anyway, she just declared that everybody calls Avaro Captain from now on. And she asks Avaro, Hey Avaro, are you okay with that? Yeah, Avaro's fine with it. He doesn't have a backbone as regards this kind of crap. But Fia isn't doing it. Yeah, she's decided that she doesn't have to call him captain because she's a special relationship with him. So, this 
special feeling that she wanted was, from the beginning was the special feeling of having her own title for Avaro. Or her own, her own form of addressing Avaro. Yep, this was all about her. Self-centered little girl. So in the end, that was all about addressing her little jealousy issue about getting to call Avaro Avaro. Hey look, it's another Eo. I'm sure this guy's gonna be our friend too. You know, I, d I didn't mean to say guy, this is totally another girl. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. He tells Avaro not to be so wary of him. And he's got a deal for him. You're telling me not to be wary? You remember what you did? Yeah, he knows what Avaro was trying to say, and he's not going to make any excuses, but how about this deal I got? Not interested, get lost. <laughs> so, can you still say that after looking at this? Avaro looks without thinking. So, the sharp blue color and the weight of it, metallic luster, do you really need to say this out loud, Avaro? That's blue lead. So, it's not something you can really get easily around these parts. It's useful for magic crafting, and in aside of that, its rarity makes it pretty valuable in and of itself. So... This guy's thinking that Avaro can pay a good amount of money for it. Avaro's gonna ask first, why do we want to sell it to me? Yeah, again, he says that he thinks Avaro can pay pretty well for it. I mean, look at the castle. He's doing pretty well for himself. No, that's not what Avar meant. He's got that thing to sell, but why did he particularly bring it to Avar? Knowing the uh, enmity between them. <laughs> what, you gonna believe me even if I tell you? I'll hear you out first. So... This is so he can quit his company. Well, of our side, there was those guys and then there was the demon. And now, most of them are dead. But even so, just leaving the company isn't all that easy. After all, they send people out to kill you. So, Navarro says, you need some capital in order to escape. There you go. So, he can buy or he can not buy. But this guy can't really hang around because I guess the company will suspect him if he's away, particularly at the castle. This castle. You know, Avaro thinks it over. He doesn't have any reason to doubt him. And it's true that he was about to be killed. Oh yeah, when that demon showed up he was in the scene and then he disappeared from the scene and they never said what happened to him. 
I speculated he got eaten. But anyway, cutting ties with that organization would be a good idea. And the benefit of doing this would be to get himself that blue lead. If he doesn't do it now, it, he, who knows when he'll get another chance. And he'd be able to pursue some magic crafting if he had that. On the other hand, this guy... Well, we all remember what he did to Mikhail. Is it really alright to trust him? Hmm... Yeah, it's true on the one hand that he's... He does have a very good reason for leaving the organization. But if somehow they manage to talk him into this, then the blue lead is probably a trap. And we lose a thousand gifu. Besides... But hell, I'm a trusting sort. <laughs> to say nothing of a fact that I don't spend money I need most of the time. Alright, thanks buddy. And he leaves. Now I can make this and yeah, a few other things I can make. Because of those seven trips to that one map, I could make a ton of these. I'll probably make a few. Hmm. Oh, strength and shields. These are good items, actually. Hmm. Cage. I thought I already made one of these, but I'll tell you what it does. If you set one of these in the castle, you can capture more monsters at a time. Right now it's 20, and each one of these will give you an extra 10 to play with. Nuts. Now it's getting to the point where I won't always buy everything I can. But uh, let's take these apart. I got all these broken wrenches from... Uh, were they gargles coils a couple of maps ago? You know, the way they are great to disassemble for... for the earth shards they give. You know, everything broken is best just take it and break it down for parts. Mm. I'm gonna keep those. Now I want to build more of these. These are the magic boosting rings. Fia's got one, but I want one for Mikayu as well. I'm going to need magic ore for that. And... And now I'm just drowning in earth shards in particular. Okay, I've got a good s supply of ice shards as well. So I'm going to boost Mikayu's book and this is a new bow that I made for Fia. That boosts my magic attack considerably. And I made these better shields for everyone. They're basically the same as the old shields, except providing two more dodge once you upgrade it all the way. And I'm still just drowning in earth shards, so I'm just gonna upgrade everything that takes earth shards. Oh yeah, it's the magic boosting ring. Get that up to plus three. Yes. That'll do for now. Yes. Oh, what did I make? Ah, we took the blue lead and made magic lead. So, here we are. 
It's getting a bit dark out, and Navarro's just finished something up. This is the test magic lead. I mean, test product magic lead. So he's looking at it, and this is first time trying this particular type of magic crafting. And he's thinking he's got the basics down. So apparently everyone was watching him. He was concentrating so much they didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, he's been so serious over there. They've been holding their breath. He didn't even eat his, eat his supper. The supper. Ah, uh, yeah, he didn't even notice. There's no problem, the goddess ate it. <laughs> yeah, is that so? I'm glad it didn't go to waste. Alright, so this is his first time making this. And he's been concentrating on the ins and outs of all of it. But he thinks it turned out pretty well. What's everybody think of it? She doesn't understand. She probably doesn't understand. Zero percent chance of understanding. None of you understand, do you? Okay, she admits it. Okay, listen up. This magic lead is blah 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 Captain's blabbering. She doesn't really understand, but it's kind of impressive. Yeah, I've always kind of cute when he's blabbering like this. Well, let's just let him blabber on. Ha ha ha. And that's all I get for buying the lead, I guess. Maybe it'll come back to bite me later. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it suggests that it will allow me to milk, make other stuff later, but it doesn't say what exactly. And I don't see anything new. Um, nothing that I can make in particular, anyway. Mm. Anyway, I want to make another magic ring for Mikeu, and there's another two days until my next event shows up. So let's go get some magic ore here again. All I need is one, but the average yield is four. I really don't need to do this, but I want to level Mikeu up a little bit. Hmm. You may recall I showed one of my runs of those seven runs last yesterday. Wherein Eo got her rank up. It just so happens that yes. Mikeu is about to gain level 15 like Eo did then, and she's going to get a rank up as well. And that'll really help me out in the next map, so... Oh no, these guys are trapped. Mikeu! It's you to the rescue! Ah, who are we kidding? Oh. Yeah, since they're melee creatures, they will take any melee attack they can get. So... 
tree experience. It's good that she gets the practice here because we don't want to do it at the next map that much. Because I want to try and capture characters and if she's killing them, they can't be captured. The capture is a physical attack and her physical attack sucks too much to try and capture things with it. Now I did notice a bug, at least I think it's a bug. You can see here Mikiu's experience bar beneath her portrait shows she's about oh, 92, 94-ish. She's got another bar right here, but it shows it all the way full. The scale is just a touch out on this particular display. But anyway. Let's go kill that last enemy and we can leave. Oops. Well, this will work. Oh yes. You remember I upgraded Mikeu's book? Now the book has a skill attached to it. The water ball skill. Which is pretty close to this one. And just a little less accurate. So I'm going to unequip that, and well, I'll, up, I'll equip the ice walk skill for the moment. But anyway, smash this thing and let's get going. Hmm. Mikay was actually weak against lightning. But we're done. Yeah, there's five magic ores for us. That's a good haul. Now, I've got enough to make that too. And that. But what I really want are. Hmm. This is a tower necklet. It's not a necklace. What would it be called? Choker? Anyway. Yes. Yes. Tsugida. Now she gets her own. No, oh, she doesn't even have a shield equipped. Yeah, I made these shields. Let's equip them. Now, Thea has 21 magic attack, Mikhail has 24 magic attack, which should be plenty to smash everything in this new map. Hmm, that's right, Mikhail hasn't quite got that yes. rank up. Alright, here's the deal. Fia goes left, everyone else goes right. Tell you the truth, Fia is pretty much invincible in this map, as near as I can. Oh, how about that? This is a lightning spirit fragment. Or the soul fragment of a lightning spirit. Hmm. Oh, I should show you what these guys look like. They're new enemies. Hmm. Oh yeah, Sphia is pretty much invincible in this map. Except if she fights this thing by herself. Other than that, I don't think there's anything that can meaningfully damage her. Yeah, 
I could have a character backing her up, just collecting things as she goes on. Yeah, I'll probably do it later. And see, I don't need to capture this, so it just gets to die. I mean, what was it thinking, attacking Eel, of all people? So, these are Yuichiris. The... I wouldn't say there's a base level Earth Spirit. Excuse me. But they're not very high. Yeah, if it's up to those guys to finish it up, we're going to be here all day. I've always just fallen further and further behind as far as levels go. And as an Earth Spirit, we can't very well use our Earth attacks. But I do want to point out, this is a Spirit, an Earth Elemental, a female, and two stars. We're going to want three of these on this particular run. So that's what her melee attack looks like. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, if we let these Earth Spirits just fight it out the way they want to, we'll be here all day. Mmm, TNA. Don't need to capture. Oh, it dodged one of the shots. Hmm. Oh, I know how I'm going to capture these enemies. It's, yeah, I don't want to sit Mikiu down next to that monster. And she's too powerful to be taking these on. If she kills it, it doesn't get captured, so... Step aside. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do the cheap thing and throw on the red ring to get the Yuichiri's hit points down. And it's 22, a damn it. It's too much attack. Okay, back to the capture rope. Yeah, as long as she doesn't get a critical hit here, we're good for this round. Wait, what? Yeah, I think I messed up my math. Oh. This is good. The Yuichiri have physical attacks as well as magic attacks. If it's a physical attack like this one, Eel has nothing to fear, but if it's a magic attack, it'll take like two-thirds of her life. Unless she dodges, which she's really good at. Oh boy. More Earth Spirit battle. Kodokaishita! Hmm. 
Oh man, that guy is really resistant to water magic. Yep, plus four is just one off of totally immune. The water spirits, on the other hand, are just a 50% reduction. So, Mikayu still can't do anything. Alright. Try this again. No! That's a bad time for a critical hit. I'm gonna have to let an extra one spawn. But I guess it'll be easier. <sighs> if I didn't need you alive, you would be so dead right now. Oh hey, there's a Varro's skill popping up. Oh, guess who I don't need alive? Yonk. Yeah, Eel's got a weakness against actually several elements. But they picked a bad guy to They picked a bad girl to pick on here. And here's that magic attack I was telling you about. Fortunately Eel's dodge is so high that most likely she'll only hit once. Ha, ah, there we go. Now, in order to get these Earth Spirits to actually finish a battle, we're going to have Avaro buffing Karin until... Well, until Karin's maxed out. Oh, crap. This is bad. I just realized I need to lure that Yuichiri off of that tile. Yeah, if the Yui Chili is on that tile, I need to kill her with a physical attack in order to capture her. But killing her with a melee attack means I take the take the whirlpool under her and there won't be any more spawning. Mm, okay, that's a good for this turn. Hello, this is my tank. You're wasting your time. Alright, let's pull him back to here. Ah, oh, trap. Hmm, you should be fine here. And if the Yuri Cherry doesn't have something in range, she will move next turn. Shh. Ha, you're mine now. Now the reason I captured that is because it's a magic beast. Oh ha. ha. Now, like I said, these guys get a 50% reduction on water damage. And Mikio's attack is just so high that she still gets that much against them. Oh, perfect. Let's go over, finish this guy off. Oh, I got a broken bow off of her. Those are the ones I take apart in order to get light shards. Hey, that's a pretty good level up too. In my trial runs, she got really crappy ones. Like, one hit point, one defense. 
But more importantly, class change. She used to be a mage apprentice beastman, and now she is an accomplished snow wielder. Let's say. Also, pretty good buffs on her HP, FP, SP, and fatigue. Plus three to magic attack. And some very useful skills. I'll be equipping the first one in particular. Hmm. Now I'll need to lure that guy off of the tile again. Capturing more harpies. Oh, that's right. I need to show you a harpy. You now, for one, there's this. <laughs> Nothing much to see, right? You know, Karen's so low on HP, SP, that he can't launch counterattacks anymore. Now, do you remember the last video where I said the dragon was the first two-star enemy we found? We actually had seen a Harpira several maps back. In fact, on the map where we captured Karin for the first time, and then after we did the map, we got the ability to capture things, and from then on we were capturing left and right. But we didn't go back to that map to realize, hey, there was a two-star right there. In addition to that, she was a female too, and a demi-human besides. And two-star females we could have used for one recipe, and demi-humans for another. But there was only the one harp you were per trip to that map. So in order to get the eight or so, you would have to go to the map eight times. Oh, I forgot. Anyway. Now I need to equip that one skill of Mikeu before I forget again. This is the anti-submersible skill. Kind of like Fia's anti-air skill. Anything that can go underwater, Mikeu can get extra damage on. Oh yeah, I can only equip four. So As you can see, normally this would be 7 damage. But when we get in here, 10. Because of the skill pop-up. It's useful to note that although the her regular damage is halved, that plus 3 is not halved. But it does happen before the enemy subtracts out their defense. So if you're doing like minus six damage, it won't be rounded up to one and then add three. It'll be rounded up to three and then reduced to one again. Hmm. You know, I think I captured enough harpies. Ah, oh, this is good. With those two working together, they'll make short work of that. Hmm. But if she attacks Eel with that magic attack, it'll be... Yeah, screw you then. 
I wasted a health potion. Navarro probably will not see any more action. Because this Yui Chui is nearly dead. Hmm. No, I want another Yui Chui, so I'm going to put another cast on. Mm, decent. As long as there's the attack power, everything's good. Yui Chiris will occasionally drop Yui Chiri Honey. It's one of those rare drops. I could have sworn a Yui Chiri would pop up because it's a multiple fort turns here. Hmm. I really, really wanted another one. Now you can see the pop-up says Mikeu doesn't have the skill to open that. But we can cheat. Our thief's lockpick lets her do it. It's another strength and shield. Maybe I didn't need to make craft all the ones I did. Mmm, nuts. I'm not gonna get another UGD. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> oh, I forgot to clean out a room, so I'm missing a few things. Eh, they're not really important. Now, nothing new here, but. Oh no, I killed one of those Yui Chiryu. Two of those Yu three Yui Chiryu without a capture. I screwed up pretty bad there. Mm, well. So getting three two-star girls gets gets caught in an improvement on his physical reduction. This is the reduction skill that works on all damage, not just, you know, physical or earth or water. It's this one here. Unfortunately, it's kind of expensive, so we'll downgrade our smashing attack in order to equip this. Now everything that attacks him with any kind of physical attack will be reduced by 20% before applying his defense. He's getting better and better as a tank. Probably we'll get a chance in the near future to visit that map again and collect more Yui Chiris. And while we're thinking about it, this is the one I wanted them for. With the dragon we got before and three Yui Chiris we could get this. Which is an improvement on his ranged attack, and I probably wouldn't use it, but it would be valuable. If only to say that we did it. Enough Yui Chiris would also be available for this, which would boost his spell, power, spell points. If we collected five more Harpies, we could do this one. Oh, no, not that. There was another one, I'm sure. Ah. You remember this guy we decided to capture? If we get enough of them, we can increase his speed by two. Hmm. I could have sworn there was another thing, but that's it for now. So, that wraps us up for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.